the thousands of children living in the Utah foster care system, life can be pretty tough. Tonight, we're going to introduce you to one boy who journeyed thousands of miles here to Utah in search of a better life that's still out of reach. Here's Ashley Kewish with this week's Wednesday's Child. Hi there. Hi. And what's your name? Emmett. Emmett, how yeah. nice to meet you. The Pride Center in downtown Salt Lake City has stood on this corner for the past four years. I don't know how I'm nervous. Emmett has never been here before. I can be myself. Taking a tour is something he's been wanting to do. I'm happy. Today, it's finally happening. Because this is my world. This place is a long way from Emmett's first home. My mom put me in an orphanage when I was around three years old. <laughs> An orphanage almost 3,000 miles away in Haiti. I remember seeing uh, the dead people on the ground. I remember seeing the little children on the ground. The largest, most powerful earthquake in the region's history has crippled the country. Emmett was only nine years old in 2010 when the ground began to shake. A lot of people died that I cared about, and it's just, it was just, I don't know, it's just devastating. It's estimated 130,000 people lost their lives that day. To this day, I still feel some guilt and shame about it. Guilt and shame because Emmett got out. A family here in Utah adopted him, but it didn't last. The day after my birthday, I got into state custody. For the past two years, he's been hoping for adoption, hoping for somewhere to belong. Today, for a little while at least, he's finding it. I feel like I can be me, and I feel like I'm at peace. I, I feel like I'm at ease with myself, and I feel like I'm at home. But he's not home yet. I want to have a family again. I don't know, I just want a new start over. Starting over. Yeah, I have a bunch of plans to do a lot of great things. But he can't do that alone. That's all I really want. And that's all I really need is for someone to love me. For Wednesday's Child, I'm Ashley Kewish, KSL 5 News.